Hey hello guys, it's Delta249er here with a quick tutorial on how to install the Bombs End Auto Switch mod from Minecraft 1.2.5 and this is a very easy mod to install. All you need is the mod itself and mod loader. Now if you scroll down the page, which the link to that will be in the description so you don't have to type it in or anything, uh, you'll see it requires mod loader and you'll see the download links. Now you want to download mod loader and the mod itself and uh, I suggest you save that on your desktop or somewhere that's easy to get to and now on my desktop I have both the folders now you want to open the mod loader and you want to click extract all files up here and click extract again and then cl you can close the zipped one uh, but it's just minimize it if you don't want to close it and you just need to minimize this one that you extracted then go to the auto switch mod and extract that as well just click extract and you have that there and you can close the zipped one and just minimize the auto switch mod that you just extracted now you want to go to your start menu and type in percent app data percent and click roaming then go to dot minecraft go to bin and you'll see it says minecraft or it may say minecraft.jar uh, but you want to go to that and you want to right click it and if you have WinRAR, you it'll come up here. It'll say Open Archive right here. But if you have 7-Zip, you'll go to 7-Zip and Open Archive. And then what you want to do is you want to delete your Meta Inf if you have a new jar. And you want to go to Mod Loader here. You want to select it all. You can either hit Control A on your keyboard or you can just select it like this and drag it into the white space in the 7-Zip or WinRAR window and you just want to hit yes and then go to your auto switcher mod so right here and you just want to drag that one file into here and just click yes now that is it it's fairly simple and uh, just one thing I want to say about the mod is that if you want to toggle it uh, you just have to hit the F10 key on your keyboard when you're in the game and it'll turn it on and off and yeah, that's about it. It's fairly easy to install, but if you have any questions, you can leave those below. And also, if you like this video or you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like and favorite the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.